Some big early morning transfer news. Even though it broke last night, we're getting to it now. Did a fiddle and fog football about it. But here is where the real business goes down. And it says, according to the fourth official in numerous other outlets, the exclusive Rangers are close to offloading Antonio Cholak to Parma for two and a half million. I seen the, he was linked with a bunch of Italian clubs, whether it be Serie A, Serie B, Serie B, Serie B. Um, but I didn't think it would go through, but now it looks like it literally is on the verge of happening. Um, the fourth official has used the term offloading, like he's dead weight. Some people will think he's dead weight. I don't know, I just feel like Cholak's a weird one. But Beale obviously doesn't fancy him. And if, not in that way. If he doesn't fancy him, then that's fair enough. But I think there's a certain man that Beale fancies. And if you look there at what's happening underneath it, we've got Danilo trending, of course. Uh, earlier when I loaded up Twitter, Danilo was in an Adam 22 and Hugh Edwards sandwich, and that is a sandwich you do not want to be in. For numerous reasons. And, uh, yeah, but as for Cholak, take the money and run, man. I think we could have got a bit more for him, but we don't want this to drag on all summer, so may as well get ready and, and try and get a, a deal for Danilo done at the end of the day. We can put this 2.5 million towards Danilo, and uh, hopefully a bid can go in for Danilo, because we've had two rejected now. If we get this money for uh, Cholak and then also Sakala, then just put the money in, Rangers. Don't mess about. Even if you use this two and a half million to get the Cifentes deal over the line, and then push the Sakala money towards Daniel, because if we lose Cholak and Sakala, we need strikers. We need attacking players. I mean, Sakala could play up front or on the wing. You're losing a winger and a striker in that, and also you're just losing Cholak too, and that leaves you with up front Roof, uh, Roof Lammers. And Dessers. And I tell you what, if Dessers gets injured and we're looking at Roof, who I don't even need to ask if he's going to get injured, he will get injured. And then you've got Sam Lammers, and I like Sam Lammers, he looks good in pre season, but the guy's just not the goal threat that we need here. He could he could turn into it, I'm not saying that's out of the question, but if we're go, having to go like four months because Dessers picked up an injury with just Sam Lammers up top, we could go through. A period where we just can't bang a fucking goal into the back of the net, which is simple reason why we need Danilo. Um, also, though, the club are, are in advanced negotiations with a Saudi club for Fashion Sakala, fee set to be somewhere around four million. I mean, let's say that is true. I think I would have kept Sakala personally. I know he is awful sometimes, but he's also unplayable at other times, and I feel like he's just got a, a quality that other players don't possess. And I personally, I would keep him. But for four million, considering we brought him in on a free, that's that would be good business. That's what we need to start doing. We need to bring players in cheap. And if we are going to sell them, then you sell them for a bit of money. And I think offloading Cholak and Sakala for six and a half million would be decent enough business, considering like most people for the outside and some people of the fan base would consider them both flops. At the end of the day, I think getting rid of them for that amount of money would be all right, especially because I mean, you're getting rid of those two for a player in Danilo. And, uh, yeah, I'd maybe try and fleece the Saudi clubs of a bit more money, because that's what, real, realistically, they could afford to pay that. But we've seen in the news the last couple of days that the Saudi clubs have been, uh, some of them have been dished with transfer bans because they're not actually paying the fees. So we don't want to get in a situation where we're selling half our team to the Saudi clubs and then not getting the money, because that would be disastrous. But anyway, guys, Sakala, Cholak, look like they're on their way. We'll be back with some more transfer news, hopefully soon, hopefully regarding Danilo, Sefentos, and potentially the actual official sale of these two players. But until next time, peace.